Hello dear friends, welcome back. We are starting a new chapter about the uh, another system of the human body that is called the respiratory system as you can watch uh, on the screen there is the respiratory system anatomy right and uh, we are also rec uh, we are also uploading the videos on the human circulatory system and I hope you are watching those lectures also about uh, human respiratory system I have brought some important words about it and we should have a clear concept of what the, the respiratory system do in our body and on the screen you can see a very small diagram of the respiratory system the parts of the respiratory system so let's go and study the definitions of the respiratory system and then the functions of the respiratory system that what does this system do in our body and then we will go into the parts and detail each part of the respiratory system in a big detail so the first of all friends we have the definition of the respiratory system that the system involved in intake and exchange of respiratory gases between body and environment this system is called respiratory system how when we inhale or exhale gases we inhale the gas from the environment and we exhale the gas to the environment so in between the environment and our body there is a gaseous exchange and this gaseous exchange is done by the respiratory system and all those gases which we exchange between our body and the environment these uh, gases are called the respiratory gases as you can see here mentioned respiratory gases right so that system in our body which does this function which helps in the exchange of respiratory gases between our body and the environment this system is called the respiratory system okay the second definition that I have written the system which moves air into and out of the body this is called respiratory system how you can see these arrows right these arrows will show you the movement of the gases inside the body and same will be the back flow or the path for the exhalation so the system which moves the air into and out of the body this system is called the respiratory system and the third definition the system through which exchange of gases occurs this is called respiratory system the system which helps in the exchange of gases is called the respiratory system and the fourth definition the system which consists of respiratory organs that is called the respiratory system respiratory organs or the nose the nasal cavity the pharynx the larynx the trachea bronchi lungs all these alveoli all these are the parts of the or the or the, or the organs of the respiratory system so this system is called the respiratory system you know friends we have brought many definitions right to have clear concept of what does respiratory system do the system through which breathing occurs this system is called respiratory system you know when we breathe we use our nose or mouth a little bit our pharynx the larynx the trachea the lungs the alveoli all of these are used so we said the system through which breathing occurs the system which consists of respiratory organs the system through which exchange of gases occurs and the system which moves the air into and out of the body or we say the system which is involved in intake and exchange of respiratory gases between the body of an organism and the environment this is called the respiratory system and we know that we have a very complicated respiratory system so we will see the organs of the respiratory system in the next coming lectures you know I have here very important uh, discussions I will have on the respiratory system you know all these are the slides that I have prepared them myself from different books right now other than this gaseous exchange what else the respiratory system do so we have brought some functions of the respiratory system that are present on the screen you can see the system which moves the ear in and out of the body the functions of respiratory system the first function it moves the ear in and out of the body right so this is the first function the second function 
it produces sound also you know the organ of pronation of our in our body is the larynx and larynx is the part of respiratory system so if your respiratory system st stops working you will not be able to produce sound also so the second function of the respiratory system is pronation or we say organ of or we say sound production the third function it protects the entry entrance of pathogens you know in our nose we have mucous membranes we have hairs in the larynx in the trachea we have the mucous membranes and also some important microorganisms we have in the respiratory tract and they help uh, Uh, to maintain the health of our respiratory system and they prevent entrance of pathogens you know in our in our nose we have hairs and mucous membranes they prevent the entry of pathogens okay the next function of the respiratory system is uh, they help in olfaction olfaction means detection of smell right in our nose we have olfactory centers olfactory regions and their olfactory neurons come and they help in the a sense of olfaction or the sense of smelling something so smell is also detect is a uh, detection of smell is also a part of the respiratory system why because we if you close your nose you will not be able to detect any smell so that's why we say that smell is also detected by the respiratory system a little bit it provides oxygen to the body when we inhale we take different type of gases in our inside our lungs but from there only oxygen is uh, diffused to the blood so the system provides oxygen to the body it also removes carbon dioxide from the body you know during exhalation we exhale large amount of carbon dioxide from the body then the other function of this system is that it filters the inhaled air yes friends when we inhale he air it may contain different dust particles different pathogens different smoke uh, smoke particles and everything but in our respiratory system god has provided a very a very important uh, protective mayers in our nose we have protective mayers in our larynx in our trachea even inside our lungs we have in uh, in the lungs we have the alveoli and inside every alveoli we have macrophages so all these are helping in the filtration of the air so the filtration of air begins in your uh, nose by the help of the nasal hairs which are present in the uh, vestibule of the uh, uh, nose and they help in the filtration of the air and they also help in regulation of body ph how whenever the body's ph is disturbed they remove carbon dioxide from the blood right and in that manner they help in regulate the body ph they also help in urination this is a very uh, different type of function that this uh, respiratory system performs but i will clear it it helps in urination how when we urinate when we are going to pass urine so we put pressure on our abdominal viscera's right and you know there is a, you can see here this is our diaphragm so when we urinate when we uh, do urination what happens that our lungs put pressure on this diaphragm and this diaphragm puts pressure on the abdominal viscera's and all those abdominal viscera's put pressure on the urinary bladder so to expel out the urine out of the body so somehow respiratory system also helps in the urination it also helps in the defecation we, we you know when we pass the stool so this process is called defecation so respiratory system also helps in the defecation process again i will explain when you defecate if you have no test when you defecate you take in air to increase the pressure inside your lungs then the lungs will apply pressure on the diaphragm and the diaphragm will apply pressure on the abdominal viscera and the intestines and inside the your intestines uh, mostly large intestine and it will be squeezed right when large intestine is squeezed it will pass out all the undigested food so we say it is uh, the process we call the defecation so it's also help in defecation 
respiratory system also helps in child birth why how when there is child birth going delivery is going on and you have to apply pressure force you have to apply force or you have to apply pressure on the fetus right in order to take the baby out of your body right so this respiratory system uh, again when there is childbirth so the female takes in air takes in air in order to increase the lungs volume and this lungs will apply pressure on this diaphragm and this diaphragm will apply pressure on the abdominal viseras and abdominal viseras will apply pressure on the pelvic viseras and you know fetus or uterus is present in your uh, pelvic uh, region so the abdominal viseras will apply pressure on the uterus and the uterus will apply pressure on the baby and the baby will be delivered right and again and uh, then also the, uh, the 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 respiratory system also provides us immunity you know from here we say that they filter the air right they don't provide the entrance so that they, they, they pro protect the entrance of the pathogens inside the body right so in that manner they also provide certain immunity to our body so this was uh, our first lecture about the respiratory system the introduction of the respiratory system and the main functions of the respiratory system which is it performing the next lecture we will discuss about the parts and organs and zones of the respiratory system so see you guys there till then allah hafiz